Hello. In this video, we'll be walking through Inbox Placement and Spam Detector Toolbox. This tool, as well as many others, are part of our complete monitoring solution. You'll find additional tools that are included in this package to the left under Member Services. Before we get too far into this video, however, I would like to take a moment to introduce you to one of our more popular tools, Email Authentication Pro. I'll show you how to find this from our main website. If you navigate to unlocktheinbox.com, you will find under the Services menu, Email Authentication and Configuration Tester. Email Authentication Pro is the most comprehensive tool of its kind on the market. As you can see on the screen, quite a few tests are performed in order to help you ensure that your mail server is configured properly. In order to execute a test, simply send an email to mailtest at unlocktheinbox.com and within two minutes you'll receive an automated response with a real report. It'll have a summary of the configuration and the health of your mail server. Once you sign up for the complete monitoring solution, you'll unlock the full report with invaluable details about the configuration of your mail servers. Now let's get back to the test. On the screen you'll see some tests that I have previously performed. Let's focus on the top row. Starting from the left is the test name. This is a custom field. You can name the test whatever you would like. The next field is the test code. We'll provide that to you, and we'll cover that more in detail soon. Next is the test date and the status. Next fields are the important bits. Your message is going to get sent to multiple providers. The inbox percent tells you what percentage of those providers accepted that message into the inbox. Same for the spam. How many of those providers directed that message into the spam folder? And lastly, how many of those providers returned as non-deliverable? Meaning they simply did not respond. This can happen for multiple reasons. Many times it is due to a configuration error on the mail server. I'll now expand the second test to show you a list of the providers that are accessed currently. You'll notice in the last column the result status. It shows you the items that made it to the inbox, the items that made it to spam, and if any of them were non-delivered that'll show up as well. If you click on the details, you'll get a detailed report from the headers telling you what exactly happened. You can see that this particular message went into the spam folder. Anything over a 5.0 is what would be required to make it go into the spam. This particular message had a rating of 7.3. One of the main reasons why this happened is because your complimentary steak dinner coupon expiration was found in the subject line. This particular subject was found offensive by the receiving mail server. I would like to take this opportunity to point out that we are constantly adding new providers. So please check back frequently to see what new providers have been added. We're going to create a new test now. As you can see, this is where you'll give the test a name. You can choose whatever you'd like. Once you pick the name, click Generate Test. You'll want to copy this field of green email addresses. These correspond to the different providers that we've set up. As we add new providers, this list will also change. Create your new email and paste those addresses in the To field. And for the subject, you can place anything. This is a test, will work perfectly fine. In the body of the email, this is where you're going to add the code. You can place the code anywhere in the body. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and add that code to the top. You'll find the code here. Copy the code, go back to your email, and paste the code right into the top, or anywhere else you see fit. The rest of the message that you see here is the message that we're attempting to test. Next, just hit send. You'll see now that the new test is in progress. There's a timeout of two hours. Basically, we'll continue waiting to try and get a response back from the different mail servers for up to two hours. Once the two hour period of time has expired, we'll abandon the test on those particular mail providers. There's many reasons why we'll do this, and those will be the ones that are noted in the Not Delivered column. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and we'll return in a few minutes to see what kind of updates we get. Great, we've got results. So far we can see that 88% of the messages have been delivered to the inbox, 6% have been delivered to spam, 
and so far nothing has been listed as not delivered. Once we expand the test, we can see that there's still one mail server that's pending. In the meantime, we can view the headers of the various ones that have been delivered so far and get an idea as to what's causing certain messages to go into the spam folder and what's helping the other ones make it into the inbox. Once again, we see a 5.0 rating is required to go to spam for this particular mail provider, and in this case, we had a 7.4. I hope that this video has been informative and helps you to better use this tool. We feel that it is a very valuable tool in assisting you in getting your messages delivered into the inbox of your recipients. Good luck, and take care.